shake your body, baby, do the conga. No, you can't control yourself. Okay, honey, I packed all your stuff and you tricked your fathers. Well, why do you have a weird voice, Mom? Oh, uh, I'm I'm going through something. So, um, here's your toothbrush. Oh, thanks. Toothpaste. Yep, my essentials. Your necessary tangerine. Oh, I can eat this on the plane ride. Okay, and um, butter knife. Why why a butter knife? I will never ever need this butter knife ever. Or will you? <laughs> no, I will never ever need this butter knife ever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, day one, the pilot died over there in the plane, and um, I've been just trying to survive and scavenge stuff from the plane, so I'm just seeing what I need. A butter knife? Definitely might need this. Jingle bells? Definitely need this. Phone? Probably will never need this. A gun will never come in useful. A map of this area never come in useful. Some salt will definitely not need salt. And some sunglasses are definitely a necessity. Oh, and this vase. I will definitely need this vase. Day one, night. It's it's cold out. I think I need to make some fire. So I found this pebble, and I'm gonna rub it against my braces. I think I think that's gonna make fire. <laughs> oh, I got some! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Still day one, or night one. I'm gonna go to sleep. So good night, Mr. Vase. I, I just woke up, Vasey was snoring too loud, and I came up with a brilliant idea. So I found this, I found this broom nearby, and I think I'm going to dig away to China. So this could probably take a few hours, I don't know. <laughs> Any minute now. Any minute. Ah, God, oh, God. Dust in your eye. Oh, God, that really hurts. Where are you, where are you, camera? Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I found these two pillows, but to sleep on. But I just realized that I hate sleeping on pillows, and they're really uncomfortable. So I'm gonna sleep on the ground. So I uh, woke up again, and I went back to the plane to see if I could find any fish that the plane may have killed its crash to sleep on. But when I was there, I found some alcohol in a lighter. So, I mean, I need fire to, to just, like, I don't know. I, I mean, I have a sweatshirt on, so I don't need warm or anything. So, I'm just going to see what this does, okay? So, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Man, bro, that was so cool. But, uh, I kind of lost some of my teeth and I burned off my shoes. But... Whatever! That was sick, man! Probably not do that again, though. Hang on. Alright, so, my shoes, they burnt off. So, I took these shoes off, the dead pilot, because there's nothing wrong with that. And, they're really uncomfortable, because they have, like, cotton in them. And I really hate cotton. I'm not allergic to it, it's just really uncomfortable. So, I'm just going to walk around barefoot for the rest of the time. Guess what? I just realized these glasses have night vision. Okay, ready? Ready to watch this. Okay, it just takes a little bit of time to adjust. Oh, I see something. I see something. Okay, what is it? What is it? Oh, wait, that's a point. Keep on. Now my hand really, really hurts. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to go try to find another way to see. So, bye. Okay, so when I was just walking, 
and looking around, I found these $600 basketball shoes, but I don't really need them, so. Anyway, I got food, even though there's nobody else in this wilderness. I got food. And, but there's not that many good things in here. It's just, just Twix and Snickers and Starburst. But I'm not really hungry right now, so I'll just feed it to the dead captain. Okay, so I went back to the plane, and the captain, I found out that he was dead. He was like my only friend, and now he's dead. Well, I guess I'll just have to eat this candy myself, I guess. So, uh, I found this piece of chocolate, and I'm gonna eat it now. Oh. I just realized, I'm deathly allergic to chocolate, so... I could die in a second. Okay, here it is. So, um, I'm, like, dying, but I found this rusty old, uh, EpiPen, and so I, ho I hope it still works and doesn't give me hepatitis. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. So, after realizing that my only friend, the pilot, was dead, I, um, found this delicious tangerine, and he's my new friend, and his name is John C. Okay, so, um, as you can see right now, he's kind of sad, so I think I'm gonna eat him. So, this isn't cannibalism, I'm just, I don't think he's feeling good. So, that's what I do with friends. So, I just finished eating John C. And he was delicious. Yeah, so I'm just gonna try and sleep again now. So, uh, I woke up and Macy and I had a pretty big fight. I had to John C. him. It was pretty intense. Now, I don't think I'm going to be speaking to him for a while. So I went outside, was walking around to clear my thoughts, and I smell something I've not smelled in a while. Veggie burgers. And it's on this grill right here. But, you know, what, what can a random grill be doing out here? And I just, I don't feel right taking from somebody else who worked very hard to put nice veggie burgers bought from a store on a grill and cook them. So, I don't think it's my place to take their food. So, you know what? This has inspired me. I'm going to go hunting. Okay? So, good day. Okay, so I found out a great way to go hunting. I would ring the bells to attract the animals and then beat them to death with my broom. Uh, what does this say? Uh, may attract bears... I don't think that matters, because I don't think there's any bears in this wilderness. So I think I'll be fine. I think I see a, I think I see a deer over there. So, uh, I just went and I fought the bear. Not really. He kind of took off one of my arms, one of my legs, and, well, I think I'm going to go try to hunt some- Oh, God, there he is again. Okay, uh, okay. Bye, I'm going to fight you again. <laughs>